What is going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of the Whatnots Reactor Core. This is episode 15, uh, and we get together on this show to talk about all the latest movie blockbusters and Netflix shows and all sorts of g- g- good stuff that we just cannot help but talk about. This week we are going to be talking about El Camino, uh, but we will get to that in just a sec. My name is Kyle Springer, and joining me on the mic this afternoon uh, for the very first t- time on a Whatnots podcast is Mick Abrahamson. Mick, how is it going, man? Hello. It is going all right. I'm just finished moving, so I'm glad I found some time to really fit in to watch this movie because it was something that nobody could miss. Yeah. Yeah, it, especially if they like the original series. It 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 was good. I have the, all my roommates' dogs barking d- d- downstairs here. Um, yeah, dude, it's it's exciting to have to have you you on. Uh, we have been secretly working on something for the past right. month or or so. We're actually going to be announcing it fairly soon. So I I'd say you know what. Let's let's just go ahead and announce it on this thing because it's not going to be out until to? tomorrow. Let's just go, 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 go ahead. At the Whatnots, we've been working on a video g- 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 game podcast. Uh, and, Mick, you are going to be one of the hosts of the show. I am. You, me, and Ignacio Rojas. Uh, we so... are all, all going to be working on that. So you want to say the name? Uh, the name is Crossplay. Uh, that that is going yeah. to be the name of our new podcast. We are super excited. Uh, we've been getting things ready on our 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 end. Uh, but Mick, you're you're very new to podcasting. I am. This is my first official podcast network I'm a part of. There you and go. And I'm really appreciative of you letting me get my feet wet with the whatnots. Dude, I, I am so stoked. This is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, but yes, we're here to ta- talk about El Camino, the Breaking Bad movie that just released on Netflix on October 11th. Uh, and apparently it had a small like theatrical release, uh, too, which I, I don't... I think it was only at um, Alamo Draft Houses because they always get the okay. special screenings. And... Gotcha. We, yeah, we don't it was something like very movie. limited, like one day only. Yeah. Now that do I. I think the closest one is in New York City. Okay. Uh, well, let, let's see. What is your kind of experience with Breaking Bad? Did did you start watching it as it was coming out? What was what's the deal there? I, I didn't start watching it until the end of the first half of season five. Okay. So I actually started when I was in EMT school, just taking classes over the summer, and it was like a tense one, two month training program that to get licensed as an EMT, and I just needed something in the background to watch, and I chose Breaking Bad because <laughs> Netflix at the time, and that was the time where there was not too much on Netflix besides really old shows. Yeah. So started checking it out. It always had a lot of ties to what I was learning about, especially with narcotics and how sure. to treat that. So. It came at a great time, and I just got hooked immediately. There you go. Watched, that, binged all the way through, and then watched the last half of season five live. That, that has to be kind of difficult to like. I'm just gonna put something on in the back, go, 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 go around, and then be like, you know, this is actually good. I should probably be paying attention. <laughs> yeah, it moved, it moved to the foreground. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, every, all my studies moved to the background. Yeah. For for me, this uh, this is one that I also caught late to. I think I started watching as season three was coming out. Uh, so I caught uh, seasons one and two on Netflix, and then was just watching it season by season as it came out on Netflix. Uh, but this is one my dad re- 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 recommended show me he was like you need to watch this show it's so good it's fantastic you'll love it uh and then i was like all right dad thanks gee <laughs> okay <laughs> and then i was like okay you're right you won again 
uh, but That's yeah, awesome. It, it 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 was good. He's he's had a couple of those shows where he's recommended them to to, to me, and at first I'm like, I don't know, Dad, I don't necessarily mm-hmm. like the stuff you like, <laughs> but uh, this one worked <laughs> out. So what did you what did you think of the film? Now that we've w- watched it, what are your general spoiler free thoughts on the film? It felt like a very nice cake topper. Like okay. it was just a nice pièce de résistance for it all. Like it, the final bow on top. For all, like after saying all all the sayings about it, it yeah. was a nice addition that wasn't needed, but it was a nice to have. Yeah, yeah. I I liked it a lot. I think I'm. So we're recording this on the Monday after it came out, the Monday night, uh, and I I watched it on Saturday. So I've I've had all day Sunday to think about it, and all day today. And I I man, I'm I I both liked it, but I'm also really conflicted. Like I I I I don't know. Mm-hmm. There are certain things about it that I don't know if they entirely work. But if you're a fan of the show, and if 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 you still remember it all, I I I think this is yeah a fantastic w- w- way to be like, hey, here's the e- e- epilogue. Here is uh, whether you want to call it that or or not. Here here is the true e- e- ending of 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 the story. Um, but yeah. it's like a side B to the movie. It's, it's this. Yeah, it's a hide beat, but like, it yeah, it it kind of wraps up Jesse's character and what he yeah. uh, does, um, because he you know when the show ends, uh, when Breaking Bad Bad ends, he he is in a, in a certain mindset, and we are left kind of with this uncertainty of what happens to 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 him there and and this kind of wraps it up um so it it it, it was good it's, i i thought it, it was it's well the, shot. it's the definitive way to show what happens to him yeah it's not speculative he didn't go off to the need for speed movie <laughs> or make that show on hulu the path if if you yeah hey in that one um yeah no it, it's it's I yeah I I I loved it. I thought it was shot beautifully. I think mm-hmm. if this is the first thing you're watching, or if you're coming to it not knowing much about Breaking Bad, I I don't know if this is a good film in terms of that. Like if if this was it's to not, stand think, alone by itself, I I think I don't think it would be all that. I think it'd good. be a fun movie to watch where it does answer. A lot of the questions that might come up when you're watching it the first time without any of the background, but it really is a movie that's all fan service. Like it's for the yeah. fans who stuck with it. Yeah, that, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. I agree. Uh, I, th- I thought Aaron Paul uh, did a fantastic job with, with, with this film. Like they're com- Compared to the show, I think this movie had a lot more, uh, like, it, it, it was a two-hour film, but I think the emotional depth that was spread out in in that show, show, show the show is very slow burn, right? And mm-hmm. I think the movie is a lot in some ways but it's still it it condenses all of the emotional imp- impact of of all of that like in two two hours and so i think the film has a lot more weight to it if if if, if that makes sense um it seemed a lot more ma- mature or at least his, yeah his acting well, it skills. carries it carries all that experience that he's had especially after mm-hmm. breaking bad and all he's learned from Breaking Bad, like it carried all that through the end, and it almost like no time passed at all. Yeah, like all that maturity and experience that Jesse had through those that year, two years being with Walter White, and being screwed over time and again by him and everybody else in life in general, and like what he needs to do 
to yeah. be happy. Yeah. Fascinating. Fascinating. So like stuff. the fact that he can just jump right back into that so many years later is just shows how good Aaron Paul is. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, let's see a little bit of housekeeping for you guys out there, and then we will get into spoiler territory in just a sec. Uh, you guys uh, should absolutely check out the previous episode of the Reactor Core, uh, in which I got to sit down with Melissa, one of our other co 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 hosts, and I got to spoil the hell out of Netflix's show Money. <laughs> heist i love that 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 show it, it is fantastic uh you guys should absolutely check it out and then go watch our episode on that uh you guys can go to our website the uh for all sorts of more information you can check out our uh, uh, other podcasts and such uh like the like the review show and the captain's log and as we mentioned in a sec here crossplay uh, is is one that we will be adding to that. And if you like what we, what we do, patreon.com slash the whatnots is where you can support us. Uh, and you guys can get early episodes. You guys can get exclusive content, all sorts of good stuff. So go like, share, subscribe, do all of that stuff. Uh, and you guys know the drill. But let's get into spoilers. All right. Uh... So what we're going to do here, I guess, is kind of break down the plot a little bit, beat by beat, and use that as a jumping off point to talk about stuff. Um, Let's do it. I, I, before we get into that, though, I do want to mention one thing uh, that I didn't know until I talked to my parents about it, and they, they mentioned this, uh, is that on release day... Robert Forster, who who plays Ed in b b b b both the series and the film, passed away due to co complications with brain cancer. Uh, he was 78 years old. He was the character, uh, he was the vacuum salesman, uh, the one that was yeah. smuggling him, him out. So I didn't know that until yesterday. Uh, and they were like, oh, he just passed away. So that's that's a sad thing, but it's uh, it's an incredible film to have as, like, your last thing that, 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 that you, you did. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, I mean, after hearing that news, it was sad, but everyone said, yeah, the, way, the last movie that he did, I think this is the last one, he went out with such a bang, and he will be remembered greatly for his yeah. part in Breaking Bad. Yeah, yeah, so... Um, hopefully he is resting in peace. Okay, let's get on to the plot stuff. Now, Mick, you're, you're going to have to help me out a bit here. I have some notes written down, but they're very shoddily written down. Um, so you'll, you'll have to help me out a bit here. I'll, I'll do my best. I mean, I'm going off of memory. I didn't write anything down. That's a, okay. <laughs> I'm so I think I remember it all. Like, hey, here you I, go. My memory can be good at times. But we'll see how this goes. <laughs> uh, so the film starts off immediately where the show left off. Like, beat for beat. J J Jesse is uh, j j driving away in the El Camino. Walter White j just d d died. All the cops are on their way to go figure out what just happened. Uh, all of that stuff. And he is having this just emotional out, out, outburst. He is screaming, he is crying, he is laughing because he got away. Um, he is finally free of Walter White uh, and all of the stuff that was happening with that. Uh, but as he's escaping, he immediately has to uh, duck into some cover because the cops are showing up. Um, and we, we, we have to... I. I guess remember that all of the, the the news has finally hit they know who walter white is they know that J J jesse is involved all of that stuff so he's well, i think they've known for a while he's, because yeah remember he was away for a, they were both away for a while jesse was a prisoner for a while walt was gone in alaska for a while yeah 
so this is like months later after all that news came about and Skyler was still true. being watched over by the police because of all this. That's true. They didn't even mention Skyler once. In this because film. I mean it wasn't Walt's story, it was yeah. Jesse's. Well story's over. Yeah. That's true. Um so but I like to I like that the police show up immediately and he has to hide because it's just showing that Jesse can not stay out of danger. Yeah. They are, yeah, it, he's immediately he's immediately in danger still. Life is still throwing him hit after hit, and he now has to keep on dodging even after escaping hell. Yeah. Uh, so he decides to go meet up with Skinny Pete and Badger uh, so he can get rid of the car and get, get it off of the streets. Uh, so he goes to them. He destroys their kitchen and eats all of the food. He spends the, 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 the night. But the next day he wakes up disoriented. He has no idea what's happening or where, where he is. Um, and their first move is pretty much to try and junk the car uh and there was a good cameo for the guy that ran the junk shop uh there mm-hmm. but the car was too hot so he he was like uh yeah no <laughs> sayonara suckers i'm getting out of here yeah i think well, it was it was bugged right yeah that's why he freaked out because you had like a signal detector yeah and it it, it, it looks like it was all fine and then something turned on and he was like uh uh-uh, uh yeah i am not doing this the c- 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 cops are about to be here so they have to scramble uh and it's like all right shit now what, what, what do we do and they come up with a plan to send badger down south basically badger you go into mexico and you, you'll lead the cops that way uh, and meanwhile, Jesse is uh, gonna go north, I think, or I mean, he 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 stays in the city for the most part. Um, mm-hmm. But I, I think his plan is to go north. Meanwhile, we're kind of getting flashbacks throughout this whole thing. That's what this film does. It it alternates between present day and what is happening, uh, and then it does some some flash backs to give context and stuff and i think this is where we get the flash back where jesse is talking to uh mike about like hey, yeah if, that's if, what I, if you were in my shoes where would you go and it's like the same idea like he gets the idea from walt like similar to what walter did it's like yeah alaska it's so isolated it's north you will Nobody will know what's going on there. Yeah, yeah. You Go can, there, be isolated. It's it's a p- place to start again. Uh, Mick, where would you go mm-hmm. if if you were on the run? What country would would you go to, or what what spot? I I, I feel like I I would want to <sighs> go somewhere warm. I'd go somewhere in Europe. Somewhere in Europe. Nothing would, that no ties to the U.S. like Germany, France, Switzerland, something like that. Somewhere in the Western Europe, because you can still travel easily. Good food, you can still hide out easily, blend in, I, and nobody will care. I think I would eventually want to make my way to somewhere in Japan or like India okay. or something like that. I, I, I don't know, but. Uh, who knows if that is plausible because I've never been in that situation where I need to <laughs> flee the country. So, <laughs> you know, thankfully, neither have I. <laughs> good. So far, so good. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Mike is like, hey, let's, or I would go to Alaska. And so I think that's where uh, J- Jesse gets the idea. Um, but to get there, uh J- 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 jesse needs money he needs money to get there and we uh throughout the next I-, I don't know half an hour for most of this film he's trying to get this m- 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 money but at first they don't really tell you like 
why exactly? Like, it makes sense you would need money, but he has a determination about him that is like, you're up to something. You're mm -hmm. doing something. I just don't know what it is yet. Um, which I, 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 I liked. Like, that, that to me was the sense of mystery in, in the show. Yeah, in, when in, they revealed in this when they revealed like why he was doing what he was doing it made everything a lot better because i was confused as all hell like oh why is he going to this apartment why is yeah. he why are we going back to these flashbacks with um oh, what's todd. his name todd todd yeah like why is, we don't see all this stuff with todd then it's like oh you slowly see oh all this money is neat like he's all this money still might be there yeah so we we get a bunch of these these flash back scenes uh, between Jesse and Todd, uh, and Todd is like, "Hey, I need your help with something." Uh, and it's just it in in the exact same way that the show had this like tedium and 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 this way of displaying the mundane. This is exactly what the, this film does um mm -hmm. and i i don't know about you but in a movie i'm not used to that this is why it's an extension of the show it's like it yeah. comes with that weight of who these characters are but it still has a little bit extra character building because it shows like even more how fucked up todd is right and how in such a shitty situation jesse is in and so he kind of feels like he has to help Todd out just to get a little bit of mercy. Yeah, or or just, like, f figure out what to do, right? Yeah, like, possibly in a chance to escape. Yeah. Um, but it, it's just, it's these mundane scenes about, like, oh, yeah, here's the top to the Elk C Camino. We're putting mm -hmm. it on. Uh, you want some soup? Let's make some soup. <laughs> And so on 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 one, on well, again, one that, hand that's all Todd's that's all Todd's character though. It's like yeah. all this mundane little stuff when there's so much more extreme stuff happening around him that he just doesn't care about. Yeah. And so on on one hand like it felt familiar because th th that's the stuff that happens in the show. There's just these mundane scenes where just seemingly nothing is happening but it's these character moments or emotional moments where there's just this this strange tension of, of right like 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 yeah yo it said there's some real fucked up shit happening and you're talking about soup why the fuck are we yeah. talking about soup <laughs> like oh like this is when we realize oh there's a dead guy or dead lady on the floor like right and he's there, talking yeah. like oh i have all these different kinds of soup you want to make you some <laughs> yeah can you move this table for me please yeah <laughs> Um, so it's, it's, it's strange. And I, I, on, on one hand was, was just like, let's move things along. Let's, let's get some action here. Uh, but they, they end up, uh, running some errands for Todd. Yeah. They have to hide this, uh, dead woman's body that Todd had killed. Um, and just because she found his money. Yeah. Which is just like, dude, you she didn't she like there's no way that she would have known what you're up to just because she found a book like, filled with money like he even says she doesn't speak english she speaks very little english she's the nicest lady on earth would never steal and just she like, just found the money one day and she wanted to show him like hey i found this money in your books okay. yeah um so that leads to a scene i'm i'm gonna go ahead with this <laughs> with this thread here. Um, mm -hmm. But that leads to a scene where they're out in the de 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 desert burying her. her uh, and Somewhere nice, because she deserves it. Yeah, and it is just the most desolate, barren yeah. spot. Um, and it, it's... Jesse has this moment where he finds a gun in the glove compartment and he has a moment to shoot Todd and g g g get, get away and, you, you know, just go about his merry day, right? Um, 
keep in mind that this is still all in the past. Um, and he's in this mindset where he, he doesn't want to do anything bad anymore. He wants nothing to do with it. He doesn't want to c- c- cook meth. He doesn't want to sell drugs. He doesn't want to kill someone. And he just has this moment of defeat where where mm. he, he ends up just handing the gun to Todd and it's this it's this moment that like you see it and you're just like ah fuck like he like he is he is not himself like he 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 is a completely it's, changed only that's what person that's what's always happened in the show though it's he always ends up being submissive in the end because he knows how danger what danger he's in and the yeah. stakes that are going on at first he didn't care but slowly over time if he had love interest and family yeah and like when he saw like his kid is in danger he knew that he could not do anything because that kid is dead because they already killed his girlfriend yeah yeah so he for no reason just just send a message he is absolutely defeated uh but yeah, so all of that uh, happens in the past. We also get some hints as to where Todd then rehid his money, and we get this montage scene of Jesse in the present day having gone back to that apartment. Uh, and he is just destroying the house. He's pulling up the floor b- 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 boards, and he's looking in the ceiling and in the ventilation, ripping of, yeah. this place apart, just absolutely tearing it up. Um, and he eventually finds it within the f- the walls of the fridge, like the the door of of the the f- 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 fridge. But right as he does that uh two cops walk in uh and so he's like oh shit i gotta hide and figure out what to do uh and he eventually gets caught but in 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 him dealing with the cops this was such a beautifully shot this is such a beautifully shot scene though yeah where he's looking under the mattress and it's all darkness yeah and then the gun slowly points down and shows Jesse's mangled face. He's he's still this just like completely scared person, right? The, the, just this this mm-hmm. shell of what he once was, but he is trying to p- p- put put on this like, hey, I don't want to shoot you, but I have the g- 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 gun. Right. Yeah, now. I'm not a cop killer. Yeah, so you shut the fuck up and listen to what I have to say. Um, and so in dealing with with these two cops, it turns out that these g- 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 guys are in fact not cops. The old bait and switch. Well, I like how they use a code word, like they have a code word just in case. And it's the lieutenant when he calls for him. Well, I don't. I, I I don't even know if it was a code word. It was just the fact I that think, like well, they were calling each other by their first names. Why is this guy and role playing? I, like, why did he just call me exactly, lieutenant? Like, that seems strange. I think it had it like it had to be a code word. I, in my opinion, because it is like that it strange thing, been. and it was he went to it immediately. Yeah. So something that I felt like it was already set up just in case there was something that went wrong. Yeah. And also, in case anybody was nearby outside and they hear Lieutenant, they think, okay, the cops are still in there. Yeah. Could be. Makes sense. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, so these guys are not cops, uh, and they end up splitting the money three ways. So Jesse makes off with with his third, but right as he's about to uh, leave Jesse remembers this like one of the the cops uh he has a completely different haircut and all of that stuff but it was one of the people that uh like not helped him stay in captivity that wouldn't be the right word but like helped like reinforce his 
prison. Yeah, right? I mean, it's up the. I think he set up the whole line that Jesse was attached to in the meth lab. Yeah, the one so he could like he set up all escape. that and yeah, yeah. So he so, he again, it's this moment of like I want to absolutely get revenge on this guy. But I mm-hmm. also don't have a gun right now, and I know better, and I've seen what happens to people who just want revenge. Like, I don't want that. And so he's just like, oh, fine, I will bite my tongue, and I will be on my way. Mm-hmm. Um, and so this is... Uh, d- d- does he do the scene with his parents around this... Or does he go to the vacuum store first? He goes to the vacuum store first. Okay. Because after the vacuum store, he realizes, okay, I need, I know where more money is. That makes sense. Yeah, because he has to get that. All right. So he he goes to, he's looking for some store. I didn't understand it at 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 this Mm -hmm. moment. I was like, what the hell is he up to? He has the money now. I I don't know. Um, and he ends up going to this vacuum store uh and i completely 100 percent forgot about this character um because we 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 see him some but he's not he's not a major character right um and it it took me a bit but it finally snapped uh, and i was like oh this is the guy that saw goodman um knew who who was like hey i know someone who can smuggle you out of the country um or who can set set you up with a new identity <laughs> identity uh, and this character is ed who uh we mentioned the actor who played him passed away I had no idea who he was at at first. I was like, why is he trying to pay him this money? This makes no sense. Um, but yeah, yeah, this is another like one big reveal that they don't give us any hints until they outright say it. Yeah. And, and 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 this is another moment like it's with the money with who this guy is again. I, why Jesse is doing all this. We we see him, but yeah, it's this thing of like he visited Walter a couple times, uh, and then I think we saw him that once when Jesse had the opportunity to go but didn't take it, which is basically the big plot point of this whole thing is that at one point in the show, Jesse had an opportunity to escape this, to just get a new identity and leave and he chickened out uh, mm. and so here here he is returning being like hey i want to take you up on that offer here's your money to to take me out there uh and the guy is like well you know what for all the inconvenience and stuff and for how much trouble you've already been i'm doubling my rate and so jesse is you know putting out more money stuff there and he is he's what like 1800 dollars short it's it's not much it's like a thousand eight hundred dollars yeah out of several hundred thousand like he's just missing a tiny bit just pocket change compared to yeah to to, to what he's paying and it's again just one of these moments of just like uh, ah like he like he's so close and he just things keep going wrong and it just it's 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 so tough and it's so sad to to see him in that position where he's had so many terrible things happen to him And, and and let's let's get one thing straight he's still not a good person right like he's not necessarily no. someone we should be rooting for and being like but he's also Jesse. been he's also been caught up in a lot of stuff that he never wanted to be a part of right exactly and so you're just like dude you cannot catch a break this is this is like it's it's starting to hurt to like 
watch this and again just be like oh yeah i'm starting to remember all of this stuff you chickened out from going to that thing mm-hmm. you've seen people you love die like ugh, man like you that, just that was one great part about this movie is i never rewatched the whole show Same. to catch up for this i didn't even watch Same. a single episode yeah. but after hearing everything they say those memories flash back immediately yeah like oh yeah that did happen i remember that so vividly now so like that it did that so many times let, let, let me ask you this, because I, I watched uh, the, like, Netflix tr- trailer, like, previously on Breaking Bad, right? Uh, yeah, I watched that. I, I watched that, and then I, th- I saw the c- c- clip on Twitter of a- a- Aaron Paul on one of those late night, night shows b- 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 being like, so I said bitch a lot. Uh, and I dated Jessica Jones, and Walt's son really likes breakfast. Um, and I watched both of those, and I think those did a well enough job. How do you feel about the fact that they left out the fact that he had a moment to escape? Like, this whole plot point, uh, like, I completely forgot about it. And that whole, like, I... I, on, on one hand, I'm like, I wish they would have at least mentioned it. But I, I did, did, yeah, he had did, a chance did, to escape. Yeah, like, do you think they they should have put that maybe a little more front and center of like, hey, this is something you need to know if you're watching this film. Or I don't think so. I don't think that's too much. Like he had he had that one chance and didn't take it. Because again, I feel like this is a movie for the people who watch that whole show and know or might remember. Oh yeah, Jesse wanted to go back because of i forget why he didn't take the bus to leave but maybe it was to help walt maybe it was to help that girl and her son Let's but see. he wanted to help people and now but life dicked him over again yeah and all that stuff happened but i was also one of those people that have seen the show like i this movie is for me but i i I'm wondering if they purposely hid that to kind of not give anyone an idea of what the plot of the movie would be, or if, like, I I kind of felt like, hey, it would have helped me as someone who hasn't seen the show in, like, six years to be like, oh, yeah, there was that one thing. That's something that I need to know for the film, but... I die. See, I don't think it would help out overall. It might have spoiled some things, but yeah, I don't think so. I think it was just a one minor plot point in this that is more character motivation to keep the story going and to continue to push Jesse to where he is going. Yeah. Uh, so is correct me if I'm wrong. But I think this is around the time that we get the flashback scene. Actually, you know what? I take that back. Here's what we're going to do. There are two flashback scenes that have cameos in them from Mm -hmm. previous characters. Let's talk about the first one. I don't remember exactly when in the film this happens, uh, but they filmed a brand new scene between Jesse and... Walt. That was near the very end of the movie. Yeah. I think it was while he was escaping they had that scene. Cuz cuz there's that one like, and while there's he finally... there's the one with Jane. The Maybe I think that was I the think... very end of the movie. I think Jane was more they towards had, like, the end it and was sandwiched. But yeah. I think they were both near the end because I think one was like as he was leaving Albuquerque and the last one was like right before the end of the movie. It's somewhere around here. They're g- 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 going back and forth here. But they did, uh, they, mm-hmm. they filmed a brand new scene uh, bet- between a younger Jesse and Walter White. Um, and they are in a diner. And yeah, it's a fantastic scene. Uh, let me ask you this: though. Did it look like Walt had on a bald cap? 
Yeah, yeah, it did. It it looked like that to me. I mentioned that to my um, parents, and they were like, "We didn't notice. It looked great." Um, I didn't notice until I saw the in review that kind of funny did. Oh, I see. I, like, yeah, I still it haven't watched off. that one yet. <laughs> but yeah, it like I it it looked like uh henry cavill's mustache right that <laughs> they just like <laughs> somehow a little bit but at least fixed it <laughs> at least it was only there very briefly yeah yeah no it it's it, it's it still looked good and yeah it, especially if he if he only had that one scene i don't expect him to mm. completely shave his his head like that um but yeah it's it's a g- great scene what did what did you think of this scene? i thought <laughs> scene it was here? It was like that contrast, like it's showing how Jesse has adapted and evolved throughout the whole show and then going right back to him being so naive, yeah. just thinking about the money yeah, and back to his loving yeah, bitch. life. <laughs> yeah. It's him loving life after he's, before he's gone through all this shit to become the person he is now. Yeah. Yeah. He has not a care in the world. I, I liked it a lot because I, in the flashback scenes with Todd, as we mentioned, kind of have that that tension, right? Where it's just like, dude, there's something else you need to deal with right now. Go deal with that. Stop talking about goddamn soup. Um, but the couple flashback scenes that happen throughout the film that have the cameos of like oh there's mike oh there's walt here's J- J- jane all of that stuff those ones felt more more mature in the sense that they were looking forward the the the, the scene with my mike is where would you go 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 if you had to escape it all right uh the scene with walt mm-hmm. is what are you gonna do after it's all done? Maybe you should go to college, right? Yeah. Uh, and then the scene with Jane is just like, you know what? You you can't get caught up with what has happened in the past. You you have to move on. You have to move forward. Um. And I thought that was a nice touch. Just th- this whole I- 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 idea of there there are these cameo scenes that it's like, hey, look forward. Look to the f- 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 future. Uh, so I-, I liked these scenes there. I don't Me see too. him going to college at all, though. <laughs> maybe, with some- maybe it's just something to do up there. Yeah. Because he is in Alaska with knowing nobody, knowing having nothing to do. It might be something like, you know what? Might as well. I, I feel like, however, like in the middle of nowhere he is, if he g- 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 goes on somewhere like a college campus, he will get recognized, right? Where there's cameras and com- computers and young hip kids who watch the, 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 mm-hmm. the news and are on twitter and stuff like that right but he is in alaska so maybe it's not nearly as bad who knows especially if he goes to a small community college up there yeah you never know but i i just i just his character in general i don't see at college (laughs) just like you should study business you you can practically teach it (laughs) Mm -hmm. i was like well sure but (laughs) They, they, yeah, they were good, not. nice touches that added a little bit of humor to this yeah. intense movie. Yeah. It was like little bright moments through it all. Yeah. Uh, do you have anything to say about the scene with Jane, with uh, Kristen Ritter? I didn't Jones. think it was – I didn't think it was too necessary. I mean, it was a nice memory, but Jane was never my favorite. So yeah. She, it felt a little excessive. She absolutely was not – the best for him and you could tell in the show that he was just like you're on another wavelength than me like Mm -hmm. and i i I think the important thing about her character is he's starting to realize what he wants out of life like i i think 
this is not just some g- 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 girl for him to be in a relationship with. He's starting to think about what if I, I settled down? Well, I wouldn't want to do it with you, so <laughs> now what? <laughs> it's like everybody has that one wake up call in life, and that was definitely her for him. Yeah, and so I, so I, I especially I, after she died, it was like it really made him change. It's a his wake up on life call, call, call. Yeah, and so I, I think it's important. It's an important scene knowing how that plays out of just being like, here is the character that served as that pivotal moment right of just like mm-hmm. this is the character that helped him figure out what he wants in 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 life he might not have known it exactly at the t- t- time but she's the one that got him started and here she is again uh with the scene being like hey you need to move on right yeah so uh so around so a- after we find out that Jesse is $1800 short this is when he kind of tricks his parents uh to being like well hey I know where more money is but I need a gun to go get that money I know my dad has a gun I need to kind of play with their heart strings and be like hey remember that park we used to do all those picnics in i'm there you guys should come pick me up it was uh, also like he probably figured that the cops were watching her oh, he's not yeah, dumb anymore too. yeah so it's a, he needed some way to get them distracted yeah absolutely so he he gets them all out he goes in the house he picks up uh two g- guns uh and then he g- goes to track down the other two people that took todd's money uh and he tracks him down there's some stuff that's happened in there that's not super important long story short J- 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 jesse walks into the building and they're all drinking and doing j- 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 drugs and he's like hey i need eighteen hundred dollars you should give it to me and geez i wish life worked just like that and i could be like they hey, just start give me, laughing yeah give me 1800 bucks and someone just gives me 1800 bucks i wish that was life um but yeah they start laughing and be like who the hell is this dude uh and then the guy i don't remember his name the the the, the main the main dude that he's talking to See, i have I have um, IMDb pulled up. Let me find this as you continue talking cool. about the movie. So this guy basically challenges Jesse to a gun fight. He's like, hey, my money is in the cabinet back there. Uh, yours is in the car. Let's have a gun fight. Winner takes all. So it looks like his name is Neil. Neil. Neil and Casey are the two guys he dealt with a lot. Cool. Neil and Casey. So he's like, uh, yeah, Neil. I, not just I will not just a gunfight, but gun like fight. a uh, gunslinger showdown. Yeah, like old west style. Yeah, almost. Um, except they don't like start back to back, and <laughs> they they don't do that stuff. Uh, but J- J- Jesse ends up winning because he has a second g- 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 gun in his pocket. This, when I first saw this scene, scene, I thought he was shooting it out of his crotch. <laughs> I, I thought like, like, like he just started like he had like his gun right there, so it looked like he was pointing out, and he just started shooting. Pocket, but it was a great fake out because no, is that a gun I in your didn't pocket? Think... Or you just excited to see me? <laughs> 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 but this is again a great like mystery of what this movie does is like. It, does he doesn't he how is he able to get out of this and then you remember like oh there's a second gun at his parents house yeah but which one did he pick it wasn't that he picked one he picked both yeah yeah um i thought this was a fantastic scene uh he ends up taking the money and then makes his way back to the vacuum store to ed to be like hey i have your goddamn money get me the hell to alaska uh, so that's what happens. 
Ed takes them all the way to Alaska. And good God, I would hate to be in that little space in in the back of the U-Haul thing up 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 there for that has to be a a sixteen hour drive. That I want to see just, how long it is. I have no idea. That's that just it seems so rough. He's just in this cramped space with a light and the heater stuffed behind this like fake wall thing. It has to be a nightmare. Okay, make your l- look it up to Alaska. It is driving it is a 60 hour drive See, i was nowhere close i, I was like 16 <laughs> no you have to drive through you have to drive through all of canada you yeah. drive through oh, three different yeah. canadian provinces that's true i totally forgot about canada <laughs> that's with a little bit of road construction though, sorry to canada <laughs> <laughs> so um, it's it's a good long ways but i'm sure nightmare. it's nothing compared to what he went through yeah um, so they make it to Alaska and Ed k- k- kind of, kind of quizzes him. He's like, all right, what's your name? And he gives him his new fake name. Uh, what's your dad's name? What was your dad's second to last job? Where were you born? You know, just a- a- asking all, all this, this stuff. What's your all social this quiz about his new identity. security number? Yeah. Uh, which I absolutely, if so someone asked me what my social security number is, it would take me a bit to figure it out, let alone say it backwards, even if I knew it off the he, top of he my paused. head. <laughs> he paused to think about it. I would be, I would be like, all right, it's okay. I can, do you have a pen I can write this down with? <laughs> <You know>? Yeah. <laughs> I'd be sitting there like, I, ah, dude, I, I can't even spell my name backwards, and my name is Kyle. Like, it's not that hard. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, so he, he's all ready to go. I guess the next town is like forty miles down that way. So after spending sixty hours c- cramped in a car, he has to spend all day walking to the next town, uh, and then he hands ed a l- l- letter uh, or not, he, does, he he doesn't walk there he has that car never mind um he has he has a car he's like a u-haul yeah well ed ed, ed takes the u u u-haul and then Ch- 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 jesse takes the truck that was waiting there um mm-hmm but but yeah, so then the the one one of the final scenes is he gives Ed this letter, um, and they don't necessarily I they don't read the contents, do they? they don't. No, but I think you can assume it's to his supposed son. Yeah, so it, it they that there, one boy. There, there is a scene where uh they you can see the name that's written on the envelope, and uh it does say Barack, who is the kid yeah. of the girlfriend that got killed uh, of of Jesse. So this is him like saying goodbye i'm assuming i'm sorry for everything that happened um who knows what uh but then he's like yeah you're uh i'm gonna go down to mexico and nail this from mexico which is a good callback to the start of the film which was the whole plan to be to make the cops think that he fled to mexico so if they mail it from somewhere down in Mexico, that's one more like, aha, he's down in Mexico. Let's go get him, boys. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then J- 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 Jesse gets in the truck and he d- drives off. Finally happy. Much, much like the end of the show where he gets in a car and drives off. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he's in a much different state uh like well i'm sure he's in Literally alaska not new mexico but... metaphorically <laughs> but he's in he, like yeah like you said like he's finally happy and 
I, I don't know if he's happy yet, but he yeah, he's in a much different mental you state. You can tell right? there's a lot of weight off his shoulders. Yeah. Abs- absolutely. Yeah. At, at least that. He's on his w- w- way. He's actually finally m- m- made it to where he's he like doesn't have to look over his shoulder or, or who knows what. Um, so yeah. What did you think of, of, of the a- a- ending? Here, because I... It was nice... I, I think the only way I can say it, it was like it was a nice ending. Yeah, it's not. The, it felt like the journey was more important than the ending itself. Sure, sure. I think for me, yeah, it's it's one of those ones where it leaves the character in a very different place from where the show ended. However, it ends in kind of the same way. Mm-hmm. Which which I which I, I it's, is it's is the same ending under different contexts. Yeah, which is under fascinating. different mental states. Yeah, because that's kind of one of the worries, right? Is like Breaking Bad is this extremely critically acc- acclaimed series. A lot of people consider it one of the best TV shows of all time. Um, I know a, l- a lot of people think the a- a- ending of the show in particular is like one of the b- 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 best. Uh, 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 um, and it, yeah, it's it's the same thing. And I think that's that was their way of like, what if we just do the same ending, but in a different scenario and just re- like recontextualize mm-hmm. it? And I think that's brilliant. Yeah. It's it's not like oh he goes to Mexico and and now he has to fight the the Mexican c- cartels some more, or he no he makes it it's out just to him in Alaska driving away happy Canada and he jo- 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 and he joins the mob making maple syrup or something or something no he like he he yeah it's 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 it's, it's brilliant it's the exact same thing recontextualized good stuff Mm -hmm. good stuff um what did you think about like the the way this film was shot is one of the things that i always really liked and i thought was done very adeptly in the show was um how minimal the post production seemed to be like it, it this was not a show trying to be a movie trying to be a hit blockbuster show which i think a lot of shows try to do right um it like you no, often it was felt like you were right there if that makes sense it was just a longer episode which was all yeah. we needed yeah and i i think the film like it it was filmed with the same techniques but i i felt like it was on nicer equipment if that makes sense or maybe the show was never done in 4k who knows uh and this one was it it just seemed like they had nicer equipment this time around it seemed more vibrant the colors did Maybe that's just me and I'm misremembering it or something. Um, but it, yeah, it, it's, it seemed to be like the next step up, but still felt the same. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense. Like we're, we're both video and... game hands. There's this thing of like, hey, if they remake an older game, there is this idea of like them remaking it and making it... Uh, play like you think you remember it but they've actually like modernized a bunch of stuff yeah i mean i think it would not have been the same effect it wouldn't have been as good if it was trying to be a blockbuster movie yeah because that comes the whole different approach but if it was it was just a breaking bad longer episode yeah which is all we needed all he open skillion really wanted to make Mm -hmm. and it really shows like this is a perfect tie-in perfect extension of the show yeah I think and so that's too. and it was shot the same exact way, so that's why it was still so beautiful. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Did 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 you have a favorite moment in the film? I think it was that final shootout. Okay. With, with um the neo Nazis, it was him finally getting the upper hand on everything. And that's when you knew like everything was starting to be much better for him when he finally got those last shots off. Because they were both terrible shots in that yeah. gunfight. And then with the running gunning, like after getting those last headshots and shots in, it was like a sigh of relief, a fresh yeah, some like, breath. Oh, he has the money. Fresh air. He's gonna be okay now. Jesse's finally gonna be okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's my favorite part. I think my favorite scene is right when he leaves Skinny Pete's and he he mm. sees the co- 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 cop come and so he pulls over and it's just it seems like the whole fucking military is like driving. See, I think that down. was them escorting his body, like escorting Walter White's body. Just doing something with it because that was I, a big escort for it. What I, was the biggest i don't feel like that was them escorting walter white i felt because they that was right after the the scene where the tracker came on uh in the car oh yeah leaves and the dude was like the cops are about to be here real soon and knowing everything that just happened and knowing you are back they will come full force and yeah there's like 30 cop cars they're all in suvs there's armored vehicles and stuff like that and it's just like holy shit (laughs) yeah they want him they 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 are not screwing around at all and he's just sitting there and he has to be like so still and just like don't bring attention to yourself don't look at them the wrong way don't do anything Mm -hmm. it's just like damn and it, it, I also like the scene where it was Badger talking to, or Skinny Pete talking to Badger about how to drive. It's like, put your seatbelt on, don't go over the speed limit. <laughs> like a parent talking to a little kid. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, yeah, the, the whole I, 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 that whole thing of like Badger goes down to, to Mexico. They have this nice moment for Skinny Pete where he's like, I always wanted a Camaro. Um, and you can just like, God, like that's one of the things in this film that we don't like. It's a plot thread that we don't necessarily get to see wrapped up. Like we don't get to see that. We don't get to see what happens to him or Badger. And we don't get to see what happens to his parents after he like after Jesse's like, "Hey, you should come pick me up in this one park, even though I'm not really there." <laughs> Suckers. Um. Mm-hmm. And and just like the the emotional beat that his parents must be having after that uh as well as skinny pete who's basically sitting in the driveway with the el camino and 40 cop cars are about to sh- show up G- guns on right like mm-hmm. what what happened did 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 he get shot did did he was just like whoa man he's not here he went south you went that way. Go. <laughs> like, I, 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 I mean, they know, also did that for other characters in the main scene. show, too. Oh, like, sure. They didn't yeah. show really what happened to Marie, to Skylar after Walt dies. Sure. Like, they just show, like, their interactions with them, and that's it. Because it's not really their stories. It's Walt's and Jesse's story. Yeah. So who cares what happens to everybody else? It's just about how do these two end up after doing what they did. Yeah. Which, yeah, I, I, I'm not saying that it should be in there but like that Mm -hmm. whole thing of like man they just had this really intense moment of all the cop cars going by skinny pete just had this nice scene where he finally gets this camaro that he says he's or this this el camino that he's always wanted and an afterthought is oh yeah they're about to show up to his his house being like, where is he? Where is he? <laughs> mm-hmm. um, that, that's that got to be intense. So I was like, that that is one of my favorite scenes. Good stuff. Good okay. stuff. Do you have 
Anything else that you wanted to talk about with this film? I don't think so. Anything I mean, I'm glad, it, I'm, glad it, I'm glad it exists. I mean, it's still not necessary. I still would have been happy with the way that Jesse ended in the mm-hmm. original show. But it was still nice to go back to that world just for a little bit longer. Yeah. Because it was such an intense world just to, and it could just to be in it and see the aftermath of everything. It was cool to see that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And also have that final confirmation that Walter White is dead. It's not, he didn't survive. There was no chance. He is dead. Right. Yeah. That was definitive. Uh, do you watch Better Call Saul? No, but I want to. You should. It's very, very good. If, if, if you are, if you have not. I have so much done, on my list to watch. Right. Same here. I'm so behind. Um, yeah, if, if, if you liked Breaking Bad and you were hesitant on Better Call Saul because you're like, oh man, that show's so good. I don't really know how a prequel is going to do and it's Saul. I, I, I don't really know if the show's going to be all that good. I, I You absolutely need to watch that show. It is a fantastic okay. show and it's, it's more of the same in the best way possible if that makes Ooh, sense but okay. at the same time it's it's a completely like it's completely its own show if if breaking bad was about uh Walter White kind of just digging himself further and further and further into into his own grave uh better call Saul is similar whereas you see him start out as a decent person and you just see him get sleazier and sleazier and sleazier until he's slowly starting to become the character just this this absolute dirt bag that we see in better in um in in breaking bad so i highly recommend it especially if you want to all right Go back. I'll definitely into try and check it out then. That world. Um. Well, I think that that about wraps us up. Then. All right. This all was awesome this stuff. Hell yeah, man. Um. Let's see. I I have no idea what will be on the next episode of the reactor core since we just kind of do this one sporadically when we have something to uh, talk about or that we all want to talk about. Uh, so we will absolutely see you next time on whatever that is. In the meantime, though, Mick, where can the people find you on the interwebs? So I am everywhere as the nanobiologist, or depending on character limits, DA nanobiologist, like on Twitter, Xbox, PlayStation. Cool. Uh, I, I, I am at Yo Kyle Springer on Twitter and Instagram. Instagram. We are at the Whatnots on Twitter. If you guys want to stay up to date with all of our shows, uh, we will be posting it there. Uh, don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Go follow us on YouTube as as well, because you guys can also see a video v- v- version of this show too. Uh, so you guys can do all of that stuff. Uh, that being said, we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for checking out that episode of the Reactor Core. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Let us know in the comments below what you guys thought of El Camino. And if you liked it, if you didn't, if you would like another sequel about what Jesse does in Alaska or not, who knows? Uh, In the meantime, go subscribe to our channel right up there in that corner and go watch one of our other videos down there because we got plenty more where that came from uh and with that we will see you guys next time bye